To be a young man in America is to live life with a soundtrack. Music is a key part of almost every young male American's life. And you feel young whenever you can roll down the windows and crank the tunes. So how in the world did you end up rolling down the highway in your minivan with purple dinosaur music dribbling out of the speakers? I'm Daddy Clay. And I'm Daddy Brad, and we're here today to talk about kids and music. Now, a guy's soundtrack takes a first hit when you get married, because suddenly her Shania Twain CDs are mixed in with your Wilco. But you can manage as long as you kind of control the playlist. You can handle it. But then the kids come along. And before you know it, if you're not careful, your sonic world can be turned upside down. So here at the Dad Labs, we think you need to establish some musical ground rules and right away. Now, I should probably disclose that I'm not a big fan of the kitty music. Plink, plink, plink. Don't really care for it. But I realize the kids have a hard time singing along with my James McMurtry CDs. They need some music that they can relate to. My rule is this. Kids music comes out of kids players, like this one. And daddy music comes out of the daddy players and that includes the one in the car. Now, a quick note about kitty players. They're relatively inexpensive. This one cost about 25 bucks, but they go through batteries like poop through a goose. And I've noticed that most of them have prominent eject buttons that the kids just love to hit in the middle of your sing-along. So when we're having a little concert, uh, I like to put the player just out of the reach of little fingers. I admit, in our house, we listen to a little more kids' music than, than Daddy Clay. You know, I even enjoy some of the hip kids artists today, like Lori Berkner and, 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 I don't know, Dan Zanes. But the thing I really dig is when one of my favorite artists, like Taj Mahal or Keb Mo, puts out a kid CD. I think we finally found a compromise between our views on music and kids here. We discovered this at the ABC Kids Expo in Las Vegas. Daddy Troy, roll that Vegas tape, baby! There's a big debate going on at the Dad Labs. Do you listen to kids' music with your kids and suffer through Purple Dinosaur over and over and over again? Or do you make them listen to your music? Well, the folks at Putumaya Kids Music have solved that. These are great CDs. They've got wonderful, cool artists, and it's music that your kids will like as well. We're here with Mona Kahan of Putumaya Kids Music. Mona, yeah. tell us about these DV or CDs. Well, our CDs are, they focus on introducing children and families to music from all around the world and um, introduce children and families to cultures also through like accidentally having them really attracted to this upbeat, fun world and folk music. Um, and they're compilation based, so you've got a mix of artists, well known and unknown artists, all on one CD, which is really great. So people can get to know a bunch of different people and yeah. artists. This one is a New Orleans playground. It's got great people. Clifton Chenier, The Meters, Kermit Ruffins, Fats Domino. And, and I hear that some of this goes to help uh, the... The Louisiana Children's Museum. So 1% of all of our proceeds for every single children's album and Pudmai World music album goes to a nonprofit or a charity of our choice. And this one, because the museum in New Orleans had gone through some devastation in the hurricane, we decided they'd be a great fit for this album, so. That's great. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Mona. Putumaya Kids Music, great music for you and great music for your kids. <laughs> if you'd like to find out more about all the great music at Putumaya Kids, there's a link to their site on the dadlabs.com resources page. Now, I've got an eight-year-old. He's already got an iPod shuffle that's full of music from a genre that I'm not crazy about, but I would never say anything. Yeah, that, that'd seal the deal. Now, I remember I used to hate the Willie Nelson that my dad played all the time, but now I've gotten kind of a soft spot for the old red-headed stranger. So it's really important for you to give kids music that's easily accessible to them, stuff that they feel comfortable with, but it's most important for you to fill your house with music that you and your wife love. Maybe they'll come back to it someday, the soundtrack of their childhood. Next time you find yourself cruising down the highway in your minivan, Crank up the tunes, baby.